Hello everyone, Wednesday. After starting again in the church on Sunday, it was a great turnout, a great group of people, at least over 110 came out, some masks, some without, but definitely socially distancing. And so we're going to continue like that next week, but we'll also offer nursery. So don't miss out on the great opportunities to get back together and worship corporately. In fact, what we'll be talking about the next few Sundays will be about the power of when we meet together and how the early church met together, not only in large gatherings, but in homes and fellowshipping, etc. So we'll be talking a lot about that in the next few weeks. I have really felt strongly today to continue the devotional uh, based on what we were doing Sunday. I gave you seven things I learned again uh, during this pandemic. Things like invisible things are really important. Keeping clean, getting along is foremost. Getting along with our families and the closest people around us. Ephesians 4.32, be kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, has forgiven you. Uh, there are a lot of ways to communicate, was number four, things I learned again. Five, rainy day savings are important. Don't forget to put some away and have it for emergencies. Shut-in doesn't mean lazy. We can still learn things, grow, do chores, etc. But the number seven of the seven things I learned again that I covered on Sunday morning, number seven was faith over fear is most important. And I want to talk about that with you the next five or six minutes because this is the part where a lot of people are not realizing they could be happier and more successful and doing a lot better job. Of course, Jesus said, don't worry, Matthew 6, 25. Uh, also says in Hebrews 2, 14 and 15 that, that the fear is slavery. It's a slavery. You get paralyzed and you get uh, hung up and, and bound too much if you're living by fear, which is the opposite, of course, of faith. But I want to talk today to you about how important this is. That's why I put number seven, faith over fear is most important. It's the most important thing during uncertain times and difficulties. We always live uh, in times where we're challenged. There are trials. Jesus said, in the world, you shall have tribulations, but be of good cheer. I've overcome the world. So there's always going to be problems, but especially when we're tested, especially when we're concerned, we're afraid, especially when things are going difficultly, then we have to stir up our faith and we have to encourage ourselves in the Lord and we have to to have faith over fear. Too many Christians, I'm not talking about just the world right now. Of course, the world is afraid of death. They're afraid of every little thing that won't make them happy or feel good. But we Christians don't primarily live to feel good. Of course, it's nice to, to feel good and that God give us blessings, but we know that it's much more important to please God with our lives than to please ourselves. We know how much more important it is that we serve others altruistically and, and sacrificially, agape love for others as well as for God, besides just loving ourselves. And so those aren't the main fears Christians should have, but then the fear of death and the fear of circumstances, the fear of what could happen and what the devil could do or what men could do, those are fears that Christians sometimes fall back into worry, anxiety, cares, and concerns. But I want you to know, faith over fear is most important. What is faith Besides just believing, faith is absolute trust in God, number one. You trust God above everything else, circumstances, situations, other people, philosophies of this world, and the temptations and the devil's thoughts that he runs through your mind, demonic strongholds of oppositions that try to discourage us. Those are things that we have to say we trust in God in spite of that. We believe what God has said and not what our mind tells us, not why this, what the circumstances seem to appear to be, and not what we think is happening 
what other people are doing or politics or economics or those things. We trust in God. But faith is more than just trusting, laying back passively and relying upon God. That's very important, but it's also actively, courageously making decisions to believe God in spite of everything and step out in that trust in God so that we are obedient to God's word. There's no such thing as obedience without faith. There's no such thing as faith without obedience. And so it is not just passive that we trust and rely upon God. That's a very important thing. But it is active in that we Believe God to the point of laying our lives down and and choosing to do actions that obey God rather than what our fears tell us. You see, one of the greatest virtues of all humanity, in humanity, is courage. But courage is faith many times. It is that faith to say, I believe God and not what I see around me or hear only. And so I want to close with this incredible verse in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. It's not incredible because the word incredible means unbelievable. But you know how we use it nowadays. Incredible means awesome, amazing. And so I want to finish with Hebrews eleven six, 6, an amazing verse, because it says exactly what we're talking about. And you today need to choose faith over fear. I need to choose faith over fear. Listen to this verse, Hebrews eleven six. 6. It's very, very, very important. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. Because anyone who comes to God or him must follow or believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. So you can't please God if you live in fear. You just can't do it. Now, fear is an emotion that immediately comes to us sometimes. We're not guilty. But then if we choose fear over faith... You're afraid of what's going to happen. You're afraid of what they're going to do to you. They're, you're afraid of, a, of sick, getting sick and dying. You're afraid of what other people think. You're afraid. Those are, those are the choices that we make to live by. But if we choose to believe God, that God loves us, that God is for us, he's not against us, then we please God. But without faith, it is impossible to please God. So in order to come to God, that's an active thing. Jesus said, come to me, follow me. In order to come to God, you must first believe that he is, that God exists. We Christians believe God exists. He's the creator of everything. There are people that don't have saving faith. It doesn't even begin with believing that God exists. But we believe that God exists. And secondly, this verse says that he rewards those. God is actively involved with our choices. And he rewards us if we earnestly, diligently choose to seek him and to obey him. I want you to have a great week. I'm going to see you Sunday morning at 1030. I hope you're not afraid to come. We have lots of distance seating and we'll even accommodate you if you want a special needs area. We we have a, a, a speaker on in, in uh, an extra nursery. We can have all sorts of situations so that you can be with us, but we want you to come. But until then, remember, faith over fear is most important. God bless you today.